Hi, I'm Martin from Indicam. We come all across from Europe, from Austria, Vienna, and we brought some new cameras. We are producer of cameras, and uh, we've been doing so since five years. But this year we have something very special. It's our new Indicam POV camera. The nice thing about the camera is it's extremely weight light, and it's a 2K camera, 12 bit. And now listen, it's a global shutter, so um, no more rolling shutter issues with this one. The camera goes up to 120 frames a second. So that's basically all you need for a feature film. What with, also with our uh, older models, we have the same form factor here. So the camera housing is very small, which is extremely nice for um, stereo shooting because the cameras can go very close together up to an interocular for 40 millimeters. It, it has an HDSCI output so you basically can connect it to any recorder capable to uh, record HDSCI and we we are recording to um, uh, uncompressed cinema DNG over the HDSCI output so this would give you um, up to certain stops of like corrections, but yeah, that's too. We, we kind of promoted DNC five years ago, and now Jorn yesterday had a speech at the Adobe uh, event, and we're kind of the, the pioneers in this field. So we started at a time where everything was about the compression. We, we were very uh, um, sure that in near future, everything will go to uncompressed. And so, so we were working on this project for like five years now, and um, Johan, he, he's kind of the mastermind of, of one of the masterminds of Cinema DNG actually. All the CS5 products like uh, Premiere or Photoshop or um, After Effects support it, um, Irida supports it, uh, MXF for Mac has a plugin for the Finder and for QuickTime, so anything you like. You record it on the SSD drives, i show you. You get he, we we store each each channel on one SSD drive, so one for the left and right, one for the right eye. You took out you take out of one of these SSD drives, put it in into your computer. It's a SATA or eSATA, and there you get a FAT32 partition with a folder per clip, per channel, and you take them to your timeline and make direct edit from the from the Cinema DNG files let's say in Premiere or After Effects or uh, Evit. 3D and POV, I think, yeah? and sports with the Global Shutter version. If you use the Gemini or something like that with 10-bit HDSDI output, you may use it more portable than our recorder, of course. We have a um, simple um, PC-based application with, uh, on the one side, uh, RS-485 connector, on the other side, a USB connector you plug in into your computer. You launch the software and are able to um, remote control the camera. Or you may remote control a bunch of cameras daisy chain. So you may broadcast commands in one bunch to all of the cameras. You may set the gain, you may set uh, um, the clipping parameters, um, the output parameter uh, parameters, so let's say the shutter time, the frame rate, and stuff like that. Uh, we think it's cheap and affordable. Uh, our current sensor, the one you see there, is uh, about uh, 9,500 US dollars. The one, uh, the, 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 the Global Shutter CMOS sensor, we have, I don't have a price yet, because this is a prototype. We will have the price in summer this year, and we'll hopefully launch it at IBC this year in Amsterdam.